1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 and following. Listen to these words. The Apostle Paul speaking, he says, When I came to you, brethren, I did not come with superiority of speech or of wisdom proclaiming to you the testimony of God. For I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my message and my preaching were not in persuasive words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith would not rest upon the wisdom of men, but the power of God. Paul was a scholar. He would be the equivalent of a PhD maybe one or two times over. He was brilliant, but he came to the church of Corinth and he said, I did not come to you with superiority of speech, nor persuasive words of wisdom, but rather in demonstration and power of the Spirit, that your faith would not depend on my brain, but on his power. What's the point? We don't have to be PhDs. Education is glorious. But what we do need to be are believers who believe, who take a risk. John Wimber was always fond of saying that faith is spelled R-I-S-K. We have to step out and risk. But as we step out and risk, the Spirit of God comes to our aid and the power of God is manifest. So. Paul said, I did not come to you with persuasive words of wisdom, but rather with demonstration and the power of the Spirit that your faith would rest on the Spirit and not on human wisdom. And I encourage you and me, let's desire to be the same type of person. Let's believe God that He still does today what He did in the past, and let's have Him move by His grace and for His honor and His glory through you and me.